still singing. Psalm 137 verses 1 to 4. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there, they that carried us away captive required of us a tongue. And they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? You have found yourself in a strange land. A strange land may be a village, town, city, or country that is different from where you used to be. It may be a church that you just joined as a result of relocating from one place to another. It may be a company that you recently started working for. Where you were before, you were surrounded by firebrand Christians. You never missed fellowship. You studied the word of God, prayed, served the Lord zealously. You were singing the Lord's song, doing what the Lord expected of you. You all encouraged one another. Now that you are in a strange land, those holy brethren are no longer around. Instead, you are now surrounded by Christians who see nothing wrong in compromising here and there. After all, God knows that we are made of ordinary dust. Are you still singing the Lord's song? Or have you hung up your heart because you don't want to be rejected for being too holiness conscious? In the church where you have found yourself now, people handle the Lord's work with nonchalance. Choristers attend choir practice when it is convenient for them. Some ushers will not attend the church program if it clashes with their favorite television show. Some intercessors even attend prayer band meetings with bubble gum in their mouth and a, lot, and a bottle of water in their hands. Someone has to practically beg those in the state ministry before they do what they are supposed to do. Will you introduce the Lord's song to them or join them in singing theirs? The company you were working for belongs to a Christian and everything was done in honor of the Lord. Or perhaps the company did not belong to a Christian, but you never came across anything that presented you with a choice between pleasing God and pleasing the devil. Now as a result of relocating, you work for a company where you've been made to believe that you're being promoted or retained depends on how much lies and deceit you are able to cook up in order to help the com company to get business. Will you keep singing the Lord's song? Or do you believe that he understands that you have to retain a job to be able to provide for your family? So he should not be offended if you drop his song and sing that of the devil, the father of life. When you were in your whole country, you were satisfied with the Lord's provision and you spend time serving him. Now you are in a strange land. You've seen people living in massive houses and riding big cars. You are no longer satisfied with what the Lord is giving you. You want to be like others. So you take up a big house and a big car. Also, you want to be able to visit your home country in a big way and give people a fake impression of what your life abroad is. You spend most of your time working in order to service your mortgage, car notes, and other bills attached to the lifestyle that you have chosen for yourself. You also want to satisfy that vain desire of your heart and make men place you where you know that you don't belong. No more time to attend weekly services. No more time to study the Word of God. The few hours you spend at home are spent sleeping because you are so tired that you cannot afford to stay awake and pray. Even the children that God gave you to raise spend most of their time at the babysitters, acquiring all the bad things that the society has to offer. When are you going to resume singing the Lord's song? A strange land may also be a situation that is different from the one you used to be in. Things used to be very good for you. Then the Lord was good. You loved and served him and searched the scriptures because you wanted to know more about him and have more of him. Now tribulations and trials have visited you and you are singing a different song. You have concluded that it is vain to serve the Lord and live for him. You have become weary and cannot be bothered anymore about the things of God. Pick up your harp and begin to sing the Lord's song again. The Lord is good no matter what you go through in life. Probably the change in your own situation is for good. Things used to be very tough and rough for you. At that time you used to serve the Lord with great zeal. You attended every program in the church, went on personal evangelism, honored the Lord with your way of life. Now the Lord has turned your captivity around and beautified you in every area. And instead of thanking him with a life of greater service and holiness to him, you have dropped his song and are now singing the song of the foolish rich man in Luke 12, 16-21. Is the goodness of God not supposed to draw us closer to him? Are you still singing the song that the Lord gave you, or have you exchanged it for another? Remember what Paul said in Romans 8, 38-39. 
For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. If you have been separated from the song that the Lord gave you, it is not because there was a force greater than you that took the song from you. It is because you gave up the song willingly and picked up one that glorifies the devil, the world, or yourself. Please pick up your heart from where you left it and begin to sing the Lord's song again. Let us always bear in mind that everything in this life, both good and bad, will someday come to an end. But what we do with the Lord's song here and now will determine where we spend eternity. Are you still singing the Lord's song? May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen.